hey, we're going to do some partial quotients. You should be excited. Okay. First of all, if you're like, maybe you're a parent trying to learn this to help your student with their homework. And you're like, why do I have to learn this? I know how to do long division. Why do I have to do it a different way? Okay. Valid point. Just give this way a chance. Okay. There might be a reason that they're teaching it a little bit differently. Okay. I know change can be hard, but just give it a chance. If you don't end up liking it, that's okay. But just give it a chance. All right. I will also link some more examples in the corner if you need some more. Okay. All right. Also, this um, problem will have a remainder. Just FYI. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do with um, partial quotients division? We're kind of thinking in general terms at first. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, how many times can seven go into 3,130 at least? Okay. And if you're like, what does that even mean? Just, just watch. So I'm like, okay, seven times a hundred is 700, right? That's not near big enough. Seven times a thousand is 7,000, which is too big, right? So then I kind of think, okay, seven times 200 would give me 1,400, right? That's getting closer. Seven times 300 would give me 2,100, right? Or seven times 400 would give me 2,800. Oh, that's getting pretty close. So let's do that. Let's do seven times 400, which gives me, I take my 400 times it by the seven, 2,800. Okay. So this is basically like we're breaking it up, right? Partial quotients. So I'm basically taking 400 sevens out of here and seeing what's left, seeing what I still need to divide. Okay. So I'm subtracting here and I am left with 330. Okay. So again, it's kind of like, okay, how many times does seven go into 330? Okay. So seven times 10 is 70. That's a bit too small. Uh, seven times 50 would give me, uh, 350, right? So it's a little too big, but getting close. Um, what about seven times 40? That would give me 280, right? So let's try that. It's not quite big enough, but it's another partial quotient. Okay. So four times 40 times seven gives me 280. And then we're going to subtract that off. I forgot to mention, um, some strategies, sorry, strategy isn't really the best word. Some ways <laughs> will have you like draw a long line here and write the numbers over here. They're doing the same thing, just writing it on the side. And I kind of like to write it on top, but if you like writing it on the side, fantastic. All right. So now I'm subtracting this to see how much I have left. Uh, when I subtract it, I end up with 50. Okay. And this is when I'm like, oh, seven times seven is 49, right? So I'm going to take out seven more sevens. Seven times seven gives me 49. And I'm going to be left with one, right? Now, in the terms we're speaking, seven, we are not going to divide into one, right? So I'm done. This is my remainder. And this up here is my answer, okay? I'm going to add these together. So I end up with 447 remainder one, okay? The thing that is so cool about this is we, 10 different people could do this problem and get different numbers up here that all add to 447 with a remainder of one, right? That's what's so cool. One of the examples I'll link will have where I do two problems, two different ways, but I get the same answer. So that's what is cool about this. Um, maybe you still like long division better, totally fine, but hoping this makes it a little clearer and good luck getting your homework done.